ओम शांति दिस इज दि साकार मुरली ऑफ टेन ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन यू शुड वैल्यू दिस सेक्रीफिशियल फायर ऑफ रुद्रा अ ग्रेट डील बिकॉज इट इज थ्रू दिस सेक्रीफिशियल फायर डेट भारत बिकम्स हैवन यू आर द प्रोटेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस सेक्रीफिशियल फायर question how and when do you children divorce the father and the teacher answer when you forget the father and the teacher when you miss the murli when you don't study or listen to it it means you divorce the father baba says children never divorce me question why is it that people find it difficult to understand your true knowledge answer it is because this knowledge doesn't continue from time immemorial it is now to disappear no one knows about this get, this knowledge this knowledge is new and this is why they find it difficult to understand song you are the mother father helper swami friend and protector of all om shanti people outside are now singing praise of the one with whom you children have yoga you are sitting in remembrance of him you have to consider yourselves to be souls renounce the arrogance of your bodies and stay in remembrance of the one alone you have now become soul conscious previously you were body conscious in the golden age you didn't know the father because you don't remember the father when you are in happiness when you are in sorrow here it is then that you call out to him it is remembered that he is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness In fact the true hari dwar brackets hari dwar gateway to god is this people refer to krishna as hari they say that vaikunth brackets paradise is the hari dwar of krishna you know that krishna cannot in fact be called hari the one who removes your sorrow is called hari you know that say baba has come to open the door to krishna that is the door to vaikunth and the golden age when a building is built people have an opening ceremony therefore baba has come to carry out the ceremony of hari dwar Kans the devil doesn't exist in Krishna's kingdom. We are claiming our inheritance of heaven from the Father. The Father Himself has come and is now carrying out the ceremony of the establishment of heaven. Establishing something is said to be a ceremony. First, the foundation of a building is laid. and then when the building is completed a ceremony is held so the father came to lay the foundation he laid the foundation in 1937 you are now carrying out establishment once again you have the happiness that baba has come to establish the new world and that you are now going to the new world there was heaven on this earth 
we are now establishing that once again we are giving everyone the message the founder of a religion is called a messenger it is i who give you the true message only i teach you raj yoga and i am now inspiring the establishment of heaven the father explains that he cannot be found in the vedas and scriptures all of those scriptures belong to the path of devotion there is a lot of paraphernalia on the path of devotion you have been performing devotion for birth after birth you now have to listen to knowledge because you won't hear it in the golden age it is said that the darkness of ignorance was dispelled when the satguru gave you the ointment of knowledge there is no darkness in the golden age for which you would have to perform devotion take knowledge from the father and devotion won't then remain you know what ravan's kingdom is and what rama's kingdom is you have now received total enlightenment because the father has awakened you now look Diwali is celebrated and so people make small and large are then wear lamps. You small and large lamps are now being ignited and are receiving the oil of knowledge. When a person dies, people continue to pour oil into a lamp so that that departed soul doesn't stumble in the darkness. that is something limited whereas yours is unlimited when ravan's kingdom begins people begin to stumble now day by day they stumble a lot more previously there was only the worship of one whereas people now even worship human beings and perform devotion at t junctions there is a lot of paraphernalia of devotion just as a tree has many branches such a big tree emerges from its seed there is just as much devotion knowledge is the seed this world is eternal and imperishable it is never destroyed it continues to go around the cycle there is just the one seed and one tree it isn't that there is a world up above in the sky one down below one on the sun and one in the moon etc scientists go to the moon and try to live there however they don't know that the whole world is to be destroyed through science and that you will then claim the kingdom you would say that this too is fixed in the drama others will not understand these things you are to receive the kingdom because there is a connection between the land of krishna and the land of christians they made the people of bharat fight among themselves and made the land of krishna into the land of christians the father now says the account has to be settled they will fight among themselves and you will be given the butter that is he makes you into the masters of the world they will definitely fight among themselves one side believes that they are very strong and the other side believes that they are strong and that they will win however you turn out to be the strongest of all 
you are to be victorious it is said mahavir and mahavirni brackets female the father says storms of maya will come but you mustn't put them into action establishment is taking place with the power of yoga whereas destruction takes place with physical power while walking moving around and sitting you have to remember the father this is known as the power of yoga then there is also the power of knowledge why is it called the power of knowledge because there is no power in the scriptures no one can receive liberation or liberation in life from those and this is why that is not called knowledge they are called the scriptures of devotion there are no scriptures of knowledge all the books about rama that have been written and all the scriptures etc will be destroyed in the war the true gita and the false gita will also be destroyed because you will have received salvation all your desires will have been fulfilled no desires will then remain you now know the cycle of 84 births you no longer speak of god being infinite atheists say that god is infinite they speak of god the father but they don't know his name form land time period or his task you now know about his task of establishing the new world and of making impure ones pure people burn an effigy of ravan you are now amused by all of that you too used to burn ravan for birth after birth ravan's kingdom is now to be destroyed and there will then be the pavli there is extreme light there that is called the kingdom of rama brackets god everyone says that they want there to be the kingdom of rama but they don't know the kingdom of rama you are now receiving knowledge the kingdom of ravan is now to be transferred into the kingdom of rama before that you will become part of the rojri of rudra the souls who belong to the religions of islam and buddhism will remain in liberation for half a cycle devotion begins when your reward of the golden age comes to an end and the copper age is called ravan's kingdom because they forgot their deity religion this definitely has to happen they give the example of a banyan tree you children know that the foundation of their original eternal deity religion has disappeared everyone has become corrupt in their religion and their actions only when the deity religion is established will all the other religions be destroyed it is said destruction of the many false religions and establishment of the one true religion you are making effort here to claim your inheritance those who imbibe this and inspire others to do so will receive a high status the father says you definitely have to imbibe the main thing that the incorporeal father is teaching you it isn't krishna who is teaching you pictures have been made in which there is an image of krishna on one side 
and an image of Shiva on the other side. Ask them, now tell us, who is the God of the Gita? Judge for yourself. It will be very easy for you to explain that the God of the Gita is not Krishna but Shiva. You know that the Father is once again giving you the knowledge of the Gita. You also sing in that song. You have to tell us the knowledge of the Gita once again. You didn't compose those songs. You were human beings who composed those songs, but they don't know the meaning of them. They say that the God of the Gita sat in a horse chariot and gave knowledge. A horse chariot wouldn't, would not come for Krishna. If it were Krishna, then the best car would be brought for him. Many wealthy people would come. Here, look at that one. He doesn't even have his own motor, brackets, body. I enter an impure body. Therefore, this is incognito. It is not a question of Krishna. However, you then pay me so much respect on the path of devotion. You build the Somnath temple to me. They wouldn't be just one temple. There would be many of them and they would then be looted. You now know the unlimited history and geography. The father is called knowledgeful. Here you are given knowledge and education is also given here. Knowledge is man manabhav and you receive salvation through that. Then you are taught Madhyaji Bhav. The parts of the teacher and the guru continue side by side. You are taught the history and geography of the whole world. You are true nuns because you remember the one. Nuns wear a cross around their necks. They remember Christ and believe that Christ was the Son of God. The Father comes and establishes three religions. You Brahmins are the highest top knot because you do the highest service of the world. You give human beings knowledge of souls. You souls receive the inheritance from the Father. The Father truly comes at the confluence age of each cycle to give you the inheritance. They have written in the scriptures that He comes in every age. They have removed the word cycle from that. He is called the purifier. So what would He do by coming in every age? He comes once in each cycle, purifies you and then goes back. The father says, don't divorce me. Nowadays, women divorce their husbands. Previously, a Hindu wife would never divorce her husband. You definitely have to listen to the Murli. When you don't listen to the Murli, it means that you have forgotten the father and the teacher. This is like divorcing him. You have to pay so much attention. If you fail now, you fail every cycle. At the end, everyone will know how much each one of you has studied. Everyone says that they want peace, that is, they want liberation. It is said that everyone remembers God at times of sorrow. Therefore, there is happiness for half a cycle and sorrow for half a cycle. 
the play of happiness and sorrow is based on bharat you say that you were the deities you were the warriors no one knows the meaning of hum so the father says man mana bhav madhyaji bhav if you imbibe it yourselves and then inspire others to do so that is then your great fortune only by having remembrance will your sins be absolved there is a vast difference between bathing in the ganges and staying in yoga and becoming pure you children should have a lot of value for the money of the yagya because it is through this that bharat becomes heaven the father is the lord of the poor only when every penny of the poor is used will they become wealthy in heaven you have health wealth and happiness when you have health and wealth you also have happiness if you have health but no wealth there cannot be happiness in the golden age they have health and wealth and so they remain constantly happy they never cry there therefore you too must not cry here however storms of maya make you wilt you receive health in the hospital and wealth by studying so just look how poor my children are they open a hospital on three foot of land where everyone can receive health and wealth acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 never wilt because of storms of maya remain constantly happy second maintain the intoxication that the incorporeal father is teaching you don't have any desires in this false world blessing may you finish all waste by way of the daily murli and thereby pass with honors the daily murli is a means of keeping your mind busy continue to churn points from the murli and your mind will remain busy and waste will automatically finish keep your mind so busy that you do not have any waste in your thoughts words or actions you will then be able to pass the final paper with honors but if you have the practice of having waste thoughts you will then be deceived at that time slogan in order to make your plans practical keep a balance between being a child and a master slogan in order to make your plans practical keep a balance between being a child and a master om shante